Okay, so uh, hello boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about Nancy Myers on being a cripple. Um, so let's get right into it. Okay, so Nancy Myers was an SAS who developed multiple sclerosis in her late 20s. Um, very sad disease. It affects like the central nervous system. And um, she writes about a multitude of things. She writes about um, her depression that she developed as a result of the illness. She writes about her faith. She's a, she's a devout Roman Catholic, and she's very passionate about that. And she writes about her disease and like her life in general. So just some things you can get from being on, from you can get from on being a cripple is the first thing that most people notice is the language she uses to describe herself. Now, um, when talking about her disability, she says that she is a cripple. And she wouldn't want to use that language to describe someone else, but that's how she will describe herself. Because she thinks that that's what fits her situation more right now. And I guess that goes with saying that no one can know you more than yourself. And that is just how she wants to be described. And that tells you how powerful the, the how powerful language is. You can see that in many te- themes in Frankenstein. When Frankenstein when the creature, not Frankenstein, when the creature compares himself to this person, even though he's thought to be this other person, he compares himself to to Satan, or even though he should be Adam. Um, or other people think of him as Adam. Anyway, so um, the story is also very, like, moodly, like, very variant in its mood like it goes from being super cheerful and super happy one second being like super depressing like there was like a passage she could talk about like how she's happy and how she has hope for the future and how she can move on and how she's doing all these things that like people with multiple sclerosis aren't supposed to do and then another chapter comes and she's talking about all her fears and how she's scared that she's only being liked because she has this disease and how she can do everything that she used to do before actually and how she gets weird looks and she's very conscious and she's scared she's going to die it's all very it happens in the same poem and it's all very very hard to take in sometimes that and i guess it shows a variant of the disease as a whole like if you've lived with something as terrible as that for a very long time, you get used to it and you can see the positive and negative sides of it. And that's how the, the disability is. It's basically just like a random assortment of different feelings mushed into one. So let's look at some questions to get ready for the um, short test on Monday. So Nancy opens her essay with what? She opens it with a... She opens it with a dialogue so she talks about that like um she talks about that like opening story about how she got injured and how um she felt she says it in kind of an amusing way but it's actually very very depressing and that's basically how she developed her multiple sclerosis okay um in which text did the word cripple appear um the answer is the lindus farn gospel it's something that um nancy mars finds really interesting because she um, she's gone over it. Um, most people were thinking the Bible I was too, but the answer is yeah. What Maris first began to exhibit, when Maris first began to exhibit symptoms of a disease, her doctors believed she had a brain tumor. So, um, my bad. Most people thought she had a brain tumor because, uh, the doctors first, at first thought she had a brain tumor. That's why she considers herself lucky to have multiple sclerosis because having a brain tumor will like affect your mental like capabilities and like even your physical like much more than just having multiple sclerosis um multiple sclerosis affects the central nervous system um which symptom is more most common in someone with multiple sclerosis it's fatigue and this is something that nancy marys like pushes on the novel like how she gets tired of doing how her tiredness makes her feel sad that she can't do things and she feels like she's behind everyone else because she that makes her misses, miss out on things, and that makes her not ready, basically. Um, her greatest fear is people faking how they feel about her. She's she's afraid that like people only want to be around her because of her multiple sclerosis, that people just take pity on her, and she doesn't want pity. In fact, in her 
in her poem, she talks about how she wants to be treated like a normal human being. Um, which illness does Maris predict will kill her? Um, the answer is pneumonia. Um, quite strangely, strangely enough, um, she died three years ago, and um, she died. She lived pretty pretty long for having multiple sclerosis. She lived up to seventy three, um, and I think it was because of a stroke that killed her. Um, but yeah, at first she thought that she, she it'd probably be pneumonia. Sad, sad boy hours. Okay. Um, which theme is prominent in On Being a Cripple? It's the theme of loss. Um, like loss of the ability to do things like one loved. Um, loss in relationships. Loss in just, yeah. Um, Mars describes two different women with multiple sclerosis in order to show potential outcomes of MS. Basically, she could either be the woman who lets MS destroy her life and she just stays and not do anything about it. Or she'd be the woman who continues with her daily life as if MS wasn't that disease. And Nancy Maris wants to be this, the other woman, the woman who continues with her life feeling like MS isn't a disease, but rather it's feeling MS isn't a disease that completely takes over her, that becomes her identity. She wants to be something above that. According to Maris, which feeling do multiple um, sclerosis patients have for their doctors? That's bitterness. Like, after going to multiple doctors, you don't get your illness fixed. You get a bit better at the end. So that's some questions for the test tomorrow, and I hope, or the test Monday, and I hope this helped a bit. Yeet.